What's up? My name is Gabo, and today I'm going to show you a guide of how to fix all game errors. As a first step, click on the search box and type in Device Manager. Here you have to click on Device Manager. After that, click on Display Adapters. Then choose your specific graphics card, right click, and choose Update Driver. Here you have to click on Search Automatically for Drivers. Then click on Close, and close the windows. This method is not always sufficient. If the problem hasn't been solved yet, download the latest driver from the internet. Open a web browser and type in the model of your graphics card, but in the description you can find the links to download drivers for all sorts of video cards. And download the driver. I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'll click here. Here you have to click on the Download Now button, and wait until it downloads. The download has been finished, then start the installer. Click on the Agree and Install button. Log in to the NVIDIA app, then click on the drivers, and click on Search for Software Updates. If the software finds any updates, then download it. After that, close the NVIDIA application and restart your computer to try to start the game. Now if that didn't work, click on the search box and type in Graphics Settings. Click on Graphics Settings. Search your games in the list. If you can't find the game you're looking for, then use the Browse button to add the startup file of the game. I created a file called Game for this video, don't let it confuse you. Choose the game and click on the Options button and select High Performance Mode, and then Save. And now you can close the window. Then right click on the game application and click Properties. I created a file called Game for this video, so don't let that confuse you. Click on Compatibility tab. Take in the Run this program in Compatibility mode. Try Windows 7 and Windows 8 mode. And take in the Disable Full Screen Optimizations as well. The Run This Program as Administrator function doesn't always work. If it's enabled, it might cause the game not to start, but try it anyway. I only recommend the run in 6040 by 480 resolution in the worst case scenario, as it significantly decreases the resolution quality. Click on Apply and OK. And finally, you're ready to play the game. If that didn't work, Open a web browser. Open up the two websites indicated in the description. On the first website, you can download DirectX. Make sure to hit the Accept the License button. and the installer starts. If it's ready, click on the Finish button. After that, click on the other site, and you can download here the visual files. Scroll down. Here you can see three files. Please download all of them. If the download has been finished, install these files. You have to accept the license and click on the Install button. If you fail to install one of these files, please don't be worried. It may not support the processor, but the other files will definitely work. Click on Close. Install the further files. 
Accept the license and click the Install button. Click on Close and repeat this process with the last installer. And restart your computer. Click on the search box and type in Updates. Click on the Check for Updates button. After that, click on Check for Updates. If the search has found any update, then download it. If the download has been finished, then restart your computer. Right-click on the taskbar and open the Task Manager. Then click on Startup Apps. Disable the apps that you don't use all the time. And then close the Task Manager and restart your computer. Click on the search box and type in Windows Security. Click on Windows Security. Choose Virus and Threat Protection. Now click on Manage Settings. Scroll down. Click on Add or Remove Exclusions. Add the folder of the game by clicking on the Add an Exclusion button and try to start the game. Click on the search box and type in Firewall. Click on Allow an app through Windows Firewall. And click on Change Settings. Search for the game. If you don't find the game, then add it by clicking on the Allow Another App button and add a game. I created a file called Game for this video. Enable the game and the private and public network. And then click on OK. Click on the search box and type in CMD. Right click on CMD and run as administrator. Type in SFC slash scan now. This will restore the corrupted files in the system. Wait for the process to complete. It may take a while. When it's ready, then close the window and restart your computer.